Welcome back. We're in Minecraft. So we've got the jetpack. We've got our sorting system. We are, we are basically gods now. Look at this. Look at our cute little farm. Everything is turning out fine other than sugarcane farm. If I actually want to make a nutrient distillation farm, I'm going to have to actually work on something like that later. I probably will just end up doing like ranching. Have a farm that automatically harvests sugar, I mean wheat, which then breeds like cows or something. I'll go with that route. Uh, I'm still a vampire. I'm not sure if I actually came out and said that, but yeah, I'm a vampire now. It sucks. I hate it. Uh, I don't know how to turn it off because, and that might be also why it's stuck at nighttime. Because I set it to nighttime, because during the daytime, my screen gets a big ass highlighted yellow marker around the edge, and it sucks. Uh, also, on a recording sides of things, how do I do this again? The shift click? Okay, shift click. I gotta suck the blood out of the cows. Look at them. They're all just eating each other's ass, and then I come in and I take a bite as well. I'm like, hmm, don't mind if I. So that's it. I'm now a vampire that eats gross ass cow booty. But, you know, things could be worse. They, they could be worse. So, we actually don't have anything planned after this. We gotta figure out what we want to do. Now, the obvious choice is that we should be focusing towards draconic evolution. Uh, but I figured, why don't we go through the quest book real quick? Because we haven't actually looked at this thing in ages, so maybe we'll actually start knocking out some quests. I stopped working on it after I realized that we don't need to follow it at all, and a lot of the things that we actually needed uh, weren't on here. So we could get into bees. Do you guys want me to... Okay, I, anyone who's watching this right now, the the 12 people that watch this video comment right now which one you'd rather me do bees nuclear energy uh magic starting most likely i'm going to guess with either botania which is flower magic uh thomecraft which and also thomecraft which is more like basic magic but it uses uh research and shit in the magic thirst for blood what is this oh vampirism mod you know what that's what we'll do today is we'll look into the vampirism mod in order to somehow cure myself that's what we'll do uh it looks like there's an entire quest line for a2 but i'm not sure i'll even need to do this because i have my own computer now draconic evolution starts by making a wyvern core after you make a Wyvern core, then it gives you the quest for everything else. It looks like it goes Draconic Weaponry, Evolved Draconic Weaponry, or whatever. Uh, oh, it's Wyvern Weaponry, Draconic Weaponry, then Infinite Weaponry, which I've never used Infinite Ingots before. So that'd be actually really cool. Epilepsy Warning, <laughs> that's a nice quest. Uh, farming is a huge quest we also have that is a whole thing like jesus christ look at this uh we were gonna run our base off of burgers at one point i remember that but we threw that idea out the window don't die don't die for wow i completed that one nice decent jump around i've almost gotten all the jumping ones get a thousand levels is a quest uh kill the wither is a quest kill the ender dragon we could make a crossbow and kill the ender dragon we've got the minnow shrooms from the twilight forest so we have twilight forest quests which is you know like lord of the rings style quests that we can go on ender dragon is probably definitely something that we should kill the doom slayer would be please there's a boss called baphomet and a boss called he looks just like you but he has the better theme song <laughs> The Guardian of Gaia. I am, think the Guardian of Gaia, if I remember correctly, is from Botania. I don't know what Baphomet is from. Uh, that seems a little mm, something. But 
Okay, let's go to magic, thirst for blood, vampirism guide. We need to make the vampirism guide. Vampirism guide. So I can cure myself, hopefully. Which I need vampire fangs or a book. And I've got plenty of vampire fangs. They're somewhere around here. I imagine inside here, if I just look up vampire fangs, there's two right there, just like that. Now let's test this bad boy out. If I want to, I need to make a book. Book. There is no books in there. If I click on book, I'm missing all because I don't have paper. What about sugar cane? Sugar cane. I have sugar cane. So we could just make some paper real quick. And then make a book. A bookity dookie 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 dookie. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> of course, it's not going to work because my inventory is full of shit. All of my chests are too full. I need to expand my inventory system. <laughs> Do I have any conduits? Oh, man. The, the small issues you run into while run, doing this type of stuff. I have one item conduit and a bunch of conduit binder. Well, I'll take that for now. How do I even make data conduits? Where are they again? Emmy conduit, one book. One book with one vampire fang. And we got the vampirism guide, baby. Which is a quest, right? I've done it. I've completed it. Oh, I just clicked it and then you get a... I didn't need to do that at all. God damn it. This fucking game. <laughs> Well, I don't know why I just threw one in the trash, but I, I just instantly threw it in the trash. Okay. Welcome to Vampirism, a mod that allows you to become a vampire. As a vampire, you don't need to eat a, all that dry bread or eat these strange fruits called apples. Prefer some red, tasty blood, which you have to suck from animals or better villagers. But be very careful. Not, to, not every animal likes to give blood. But maybe you don't want to be a vampire yourself but like hunting them. Then you can become a vampire hunter and start learning useful skills to defeat these undead creatures. Maybe you're even able to abuse some of their powers for yourself. Okay, well, I don't want to. First of all, you have to decide if you want to become a vampire or a hunter. Check out the other chapters to see what they can do. Then continue to the respective getting started guide. Uh... Hmm. Configuration. Vampirism is a lot of configuration and balance options. You can change them by editing the files in your convig prism portal manually or in game edit menu. To edit the main and balance settings, main menu, mods, vampirism, config. There are two types of options, general configuration and balance values. Okay. If your game crashes or does not start, we do need a crash report. Okay. That's cool to know. It's good that they, they care so much. This mod is currently developed by Maxinaire and translate by many useful users. Support and development credit. Okay, how about this? If we just... Getting started to become a vampire, you have to be bitten by a vampire. So either let them hit you on purpose or just wait until it happens by accident. When they hit you, there's a chance you receive a potion effect called Sanguinar Vampiris, which lasts about a Minecraft day. Motherfucker. This mother... I can fight you in the air now, shit. Yeah, I just called him shit. Ooh, that was a, such a good comeback. Which lasts about a Minecraft day. After the potion has ended, you become a vampire. In case you don't want to become one, you can always cancel the effect with a milk bucket. Alternatively, you can right-click with vampire fangs in your hand to inject some blood into you and get the same effect as ab above. Well, shit, okay. Once you become a vampire, one of your main sources of blood, at least the best source, are villages, and you should find plenty of those. Watch out, though. Vampire Hunter will not attack you and try to protect the villagers. You will all... Vampire Hunter will not attack you. Why? What? Watch out, though. Vampire Hunter will not attack you. 
and try to protect the villagers. <laughs> you will already notice that you do not feel very good in the sun, but the sunlight won't hurt such a weak vampire as you are at this point. As an undead vamp... As an undead vampire, there should be a comma here, as an undead vampire, zombies will stop attacking you because they can no longer smell you. However, other, smarter mobs will still identif identify you as a hostile player. As a vampire, you need to watch how much blood you have, suck blood from villagers and some animals to get more blood by holding down V. For me, it's shift left click because that's just so much easier extra blood will be stored in glass bottles slash blood bottles on your hot bar you might even be able to suck blood from other players as long as you're be coming from behind so they can't defend themselves if you bite a mob that does not have blood you will deal some damage to them in the beginning you will be a level one vampire that level is displayed above your XP level, which I see that down here in purple, and have improved speed, health, and strength. To get to higher vampire levels, you will have to perform different rituals as you advance through levels of your abilities. God damn it, it's a full-on cult. I knew it. Improve, but some disadvantages, like sun damage, might appear. As a vampire, you do not breathe. So you do not drown. Is that... Is that true? Do vampires not breathe? And hence, do not drown... But unfortunately, water will greatly weaken you. So if you want to frequently cross water, you might want to try to make your body water resistant. You will be able to unlock a skill that does this at higher levels. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, getting started as a hunter. To become a vampire hunter, you will need to find a village in which a hunter trainer lives. You will find some garlic plants behind his house. Use them to craft a garlic injection. You also should plant some of the garlic because it will be useful later. Go inside the trainer's house and use the special chair inside the in inside to eject the garlic vaccination. Sorry, I had a little bit of a hiccup there. It will take... It, blah, blah. It will make you immune to the vampire's poisonous sanguinar vampires. Damn, this is what I want. This is what I wanted to be. I didn't want to be a bloody fucking vampire. This shit sounds sucky as hell. Does it tell me how to cure it by any chance? This is the main advantage you will have at that level. By leveling up, you will become stronger and learn some useful skills. Okay. What's next? Okay, so now that I've read both, now it gives me more options. Cool, that's good. So, unvampire. Wait, where did I see it? Un unvampire. There it is. Un if you want to become a normal human again, you will have to look for an altar of cleansing. It can be found in the church of some villages, but be careful, you will lose all your levels. Okay, so we gotta start with that. We gotta go adventuring for a church. It should be pretty easy with our um, new fancy glider and everything. It was not. It's so beautiful. Wow. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a dead forest of some. Oh, I love how you can see my footprints. Oh, that is amazing, actually. I love that. That's where I've ran before. You can tell where I've been before because of my footsteps. Because I have the little light bulbs on my feet. What will we find deep in the water? Coral! Ah, oh, I love the underwater coral biome. It's so beautiful. All that cyan and purple and orange. This one's a very small one. Normally you find like huge biomes. They're like fucking massive. Like the ocean biome here. It's just all coral instead. 
I got turned around for a minute. <laughs> Uh, when you're surrounded by water, and you just start going, wait, well, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm so lucky I have a uh, map in my top right. Waiting for server. That's not good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, we, why I'm going this direction, and not a direction where I know a village is already, if you didn't know, it, I didn't uh, explain this because I thought it was obvious, but uh, I since I updated the mod pack and then this mod was added after that, I'm fairly certain those new villages would not have the block we're looking for. New villages don't have the block we're looking for! Um, sadly, new villages might not have the block we're looking for. I just told you that, you big dummy. But I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to find out. Because the mod's installed, so I'm just hoping. Crimson Cat? Okay, my screen just froze. Oh, and I fell to the ground. Is it like another vampire? Crimson Cat? Kill him, Crimson Cat! Kill him! Yeah! Yeah, Crimson Cat for the win! You're a cool little vampire, aren't you? You're a cute little guy. I imagine all of the people who helped make the mod are the vampires, I'm guessing. I'm just throwing it out there. This is a beautiful, lush little, like, mountain biome. I've never seen, like, a mountain biome that is so evenly covered in grass and stuff. It's quite nice. I'm surprised I haven't found a village yet at this height, you know? It's normally so easy otherwise. Imagine doing this by walking. It would have taken us like 16 episodes to do this walking around. What is that? Oh, it's a skeleton with pants on its head. <laughs> oh, man. I love hats. I love hats so much. We probably should set our hat, because I haven't changed it in a while. Last time I changed it, I think it was like St. Patrick's Day or something. <gasps> a village! Yay, we found it! This village got hit by a meteor. Jesus Christ, look at that. Damn, most of it's destroyed by this meteor. But the church is still here, kind of, not really. Church is destroyed as fuck. Shit. Damn, everything is destroyed as fuck. Look who's talking, Chuckle Nuts! They would figure that the one village we find, it's just completely destroyed by a meteor, right? <laughs> oh man! Oh wait, here's a volcano. Let's grab some basalt for the base real quick. I'll just cut this. <laughs> Working all day, working for a dollar, mining my stone, ain't that a holler, my hands are black, my hands are black, from the basalt I'm going at. That was my song, you're welcome. That's all you get for now. I'm gonna really enjoy being a vampire hunter again and wiping them out. What the fuck? Why do y'all just scream at nighttime when you're near people? I hate you stupid little shits so much. This is why I'm going to dedicate my life to becoming a vampire hunter so I can fucking cut you motherfuckers down in one hit. I want to be able to one-shot every vampire I come across. Just so I can say, ha ha ha, you suck. And maybe teabag their body a little bit. But that's all I'm asking for, okay? That, that's, that's it. That, I think that's pretty, pretty borderline down the middle. I think that's everyone's dream, okay? So, I, I'm not that, I, I'm not that bad. Okay? That's all I'm saying.
Oh no, cultist corn. Don't die, please. Anything but that. No, cultist corn. Ah! Don't die. Oh no. Jesus Christ. I... You didn't. I didn't do it. It it was not me. It was not me. Are are you taking me in? Are, okay, fine. But am I gonna be back by tomorrow, at least, right? If I murdered one of our own kind, is that how it works? You'll lose all your levels and die?